Okay, this is the easiest way to change your motor orientation for any flight controller. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to go into Betaflight and under the CLI tab, type resource. You're going to get a list of your resources. And the next thing you're going to do is draw a map of your quad, writing down the motor numbers and next to it, write the resource number for that motor. You're going to write one, two, three, four. And next to that, write the resource number for that motor. And the next thing you're going to do is turn your quad the way that you want the orientation. And then you're going to erase the motor numbers and write in the new motor numbers next to that resource number. So you're going to write one, two, three, four. And you're going to have a new motor number next to that resource. The next thing you're going to do is under the CLI tab, you're going to type resource motor one followed by the resource number. Press enter. You're going to do that for each motor. One, two, three, four. After that, press save and you should be all set. The next thing you're going to do is make sure your board orientation is set correctly under the configuration tab. Make sure you remember that it goes clockwise. So this would be 90, 180, 270 degrees. In my case, I have it set at 270 degrees. I'm using the HGLRC micro stack and it actually fits together with connector pins. So the ESCs have a fixed orientation. They actually have the battery pads coming out the side. So the flight controller is facing forward this way. And then your ESC pads end up in the rear. So I wanted my battery leads coming out the back. So I just mounted it normally facing this way. I wired the motors in normally. And then I just went into the CLI tab change the resources, and then I set the board orientation to 270 degrees, and that's it. Just make sure you save everything in the CLI tab. You can go back into it and check. Just type resource again. It should have the new resource numbers, and that's all you need to do. This is gonna work with any flight controller, and it's really easy to do, so that's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.